Hello and welcome to Taste Buds. I'm Terry Bayes. I'm a food critic on the Central Coast. Each week, I share my dining experiences with a partner who I call my Taste Bud. Now I'm sharing my rarest Epicurean delights with you. My culinary tourism has taken me to some wonderful restaurants, both big and small. Join us while my buds and I taste the world. Taste Buds will feature my dining treasures as food and wine experts test my palate, give me their opinions, and open their kitchens. Important Celebrations calls for an excellent chef in a stunning restaurant, an attentive staff, and a delectable menu. The Sea Venture in Pismo Beach is my culinary destination when it's an important event. In the past, many of my after work hours have been spent sitting at the Sea Venture watching the waves roll in, the surfers float by, and the sun set. My girlfriends and I meet here for my ties. We go to Sunday brunch. When we really want to impress, the Sea Venture is our go to place. The Sea Venture restaurant has at its helm one of the best and brightest chefs in the area, Casey Walcott. Every meal with him is a culinary tapestry of deliciousness. Hi, welcome to Taste Buds. Today we're at the Sea Venture Resort and we're trying out the Sea Venture restaurant with executive chef Casey Walcott, who's going to blow our minds with his amazing small plates and very fine dining. So come on in and join us. My taste bud today is my very dear friend, Claudia Mikheyev. And Claudia is the, um, a mermaid scientist. She has just had her first book published. It's um, a children's book, an ABC book, and she's also an illustrator and a brilliant, brilliant artist. In fact, I have many of her original Claudias in my home. She was raised in France. Her parents were very much foodie snobs, so she has like this amazing palate. So whenever you share a meal with Claudia, it always not only has fun fish facts in it, but there's usually some fun <laughs> French facts and just all, so she's Aww. full of facts, this girl, so. Yes, now I'm you... a regular know-it-all. <laughs> so I'm here with Casey Walcott, the executive chef of the Sea Venture, one of my favorite places on the whole planet. Mine too. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't want to work here with this behind you all the time? Casey lives up in Paso Robles, and he has great influences from the wines up there and knows all the the great finds and the little boutique wineries, and then he gets the produce and stuff from around here, so it's a little, it's the best of both worlds. This right here, this is Pismet. Ah. So we have filet, uh, veggie skewered, uh, shrimp, veggie, and uh, chicken. And, and what are the dipping sauces? Uh, dipping sauce is uh, mustard sauce, mango chutney, and a ponzu. And then we have beef tips, filet mignon with that, the same mustard sauce. Ooh, the very hot plate. You, this is a really hot plate. This is our oyster Rockefeller. Be very careful. It's really hot. And this is all part of the tapas small plate menu. Yes, this is. All right. This is best all nachos so in the whole wide world. It is not about the nachos. It is about. The carnitas, the carnitas on the nachos. Yeah. He makes carnitas like there's nobody's business. I think they're the most amazing thing in the world, and I usually don't say that about my own food, but the carnitas are Ah, awesome. so it is your favorite food, carnitas. Well, carnitas is my favorite food. Yes, okay. you were trying to get that out of me, and uh, yes, I would say carnitas, anything is my favorite thing to eat. Sunset, glass of wine, nachos. There we All go. Right. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. All right. This is the ahi pokey. Mm -mm. The wontons are perfect. It's the jalapeno um, dressing on the bottom is perfect. All right. So, so she was asking about there was a spice in one of these. There's a, well, there's a marinade on the meat. I think that's like a cinnamony. I hate to say cinnamon. Which meat? Oh, um, the beef. No. The beef. None. None of this is. Um, none of the skewers are marinated. Um, oh. Just salt, pepper, and. Uh, Craig, the gentleman that works out here, he has secret spices that he puts on everything. But it's primarily um, salt, pepper, and well, don't give away garlic. Craig's. Spice. I, I, I don't know what it is. I don't ask. Secret so sauce. <laughs> yes. All right. So here's what I want you all to do. I want you to come down here on a weeknight, and I want you to try two or three of these things because you buy two and you get a third one free, correct? Yes, and have a nice glass of wine, and then I want you to post it on the Facebook page of Taste Buds, what you had, what you thought of it, 
suggestions for Casey, if you dare, um, and how much you liked it. So I want you to all come down to the Sea Venture. I mean, it's like, how hard is that to ask you to do? Come out, watch the sunset. It's beautiful here. And it sets every night. We've been watching it. No matter what, <laughs> that sun goes down. It's crazy. So if you're having a bad Tuesday, this is a place you go to finish it off because it's not expensive, it's beautiful food, a nice glass of wine, and you leave happy and full. He is making for us tonight... Boulevard. And Shrimp and lobster boulevard. And actually. boulevard means? Anything in a pastry. So usually puff pastry tradition, uh, traditionally. And um, we're going to be putting in lobster, shrimp, uh, asparagus, uh, fingerling potatoes inside this beautiful puff pastry. We're just going to butterfly these shrimp a little bit. What kind of shrimp is that, Casey? This is wild shrimp. Um, it is uh, Indonesian, but it is wild. Um, with all of our seafood here, we don't have tripolyphosphates on it, so meaning no chemicals added. So for water retention, or um, a lot of people think that they're allergic to seafood or shellfish, but really they have uh, really they're um, allergic to. It's not an allergic reaction; it's a chemical reaction to the tripolyphosphates that they put on. Uh, shrimp, clams, mussels, lobster, um, and it's classified as a pesticide. So a lot of people think, oh, I'm allergic to that. No, it's really um, a chemical reaction your body's having to try polyphosphate. So we're gonna pull the meat out of these lobsters and uh, we'll cook the shell with all this stuff. Nice presentation again, and also you get a little little flavor out of it but one one good thing about being a chef in California is I can travel a hundred miles away and I could get any produce that I could ever want so uh, the shrimp key to anything while you're cooking is making sure your pans hot you know when you have a, a pan and you're trying to cook a piece of fish and it keeps ripping and tearing it's because your pans not hot enough and it's just an easy way to tell your pan's hot enough. As long as it makes it sizzle, you're gonna be okay. So we'll add some shrimp in here. Add some of the fingerling potatoes. Get a nice color on those. And then this one we'll add the lobster. Working in the kitchen's all about the timing. All right. We're gonna add some uh, lobster cream sauce. Put it over the flame one more second. Make sure that asparagus gets hot. It and smells you. so good. Tell now, is this your recipe? Were you this the one? is mine. This is my dish. This, and how I, long have you been serving it here? Um, about almost a year now. And, and that was right when I changed the menu right. to this dish. So, and then it was one of the best selling. So it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And then we'll just add a little bit of green onions over the top of that. My goodness, Casey. Oh, it's just beautiful. It oh, looks it like like something so that came straight off the bottom of King Triton's throne. Have a oh, seat. Have a seat. All right. <clears throat> yeah, come talk to us. Talk to us. <laughs> <laughs> we eat and talk. <laughs> <laughs> We're really good at this. So tell us all what's in here. What's in here is uh, shrimp and lobster volavant, one of our um, favorite dishes here on the, on the menu at the Sea Venture. Shrimp, lobster, of course, uh, asparagus. Fingerling potatoes, um, uh, lobster cream sauce, garlic, green onions. And so what was your inspiration for this? A recipe or you had it or? I, I had something like this um, way back when, about 15 years ago, but um, I, I love lobster and I love a cream sauce. So it, this appeals to everybody, I think, uh, a male or female and um, it's very filling, so. Yeah, and if you want to impress the ladies, you want to make sure you get a second date, bring her to the Sea Venture and order this. <laughs> 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 See, this, there you go. this single lady says it's true. So that's half of it is presentation, right? It is, so. it is. You, you, you see as much with your, or you taste as much with your eyes as you do with your mouth. Yes, we want beautiful things. Yes, we do. Because in here, you know, I'm, I'm not usually a fan of asparagus, mm. but there's something the way Casey does it, and 
I watched him do it and make this in back, and it was very simple. It was just on a saute pan, just timed perfectly. Put the garlic in afterwards. It's like this chef just really knows what he's doing with both the vegetables and with the proteins. <laughs> Although, I can't imagine me making something like this at home, but you're French. Would you make it? Up? Oh, yes. Well, those northern French, they like the cream and butter. Mm -hmm. And then, um, so I have family up there, yeah. All cream and butter, and it's delicious. And then the southern, it's all olive oil and garlic, which is equally good. So, yeah. Now, how do they not Can you really go pounds? wrong? No, you can't. You can't go wrong. Uh, the great thing about the Sea Venture is most of the time Chef Casey is here. He will come talk to you. Um, one of the things I did was for my birthday last year, because um, I only pick very special places for my birthday, I walk in and I say, Casey, make me anything you want. And he made me a seven-course meal that was probably one of the finest I'll ever remember. So he'll do that for you. And he'll make for you what is the finest and freshest stuff he has in the kitchen. And it's worth every cent of it. So... Second date worthy. Second date worthy. You, <laughs> yeah, you could get married here after that. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, <gasps> I love creme So that's brulee. like a creme brulee with a, with a sugar cage, cage on top of it? <gasps> and what is this? Oh, I know what this is. So it's a cobbler with um, pear, apple, mixed berries, and scone. And then it's topped with uh, Doc Bernstein's uh, salted caramel ice cream Ooh. and a candied bacon on top of it. You can't go wrong with bacon, even if it's in your dessert. I don't even think I've wow. had this combination before. This is. This I is know. Be wow. Oh, it's so pretty. It is pretty. Too pretty to eat. Yeah. Thank you, Casey. Right. <laughs> Put it in your mouth. Hi. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but this is better than this. Beer. Oh, whatever. This is. I got the best one. Try this. I got the best one. Try it. Mm -hmm. Try it. Okay. Cuter so thing. Chef yeah. Casey has joined us after our dessert. We had a couple questions I for him. Know. We we loved the cream brulee with the bird's nest, but we couldn't decide on how the bird's nest is done. You start with um, a little bit of sugar in a pan, add some water, and then you're going to heat it up in, to the right temperature for whatever type of sugar you want, hard crack, soft crack, whatever it is. And... Um, once, once it gets to that temperature, you're going to put it whatever. Oh, I just grab a fork and put, dip it in the sugar and just put it right over the form. Or you could even make the fun hair. You get a, a say, a, a rolling pin and do it higher up so it forms a hair and it hangs off the bottom of it. And you can roll it into a ball like a pifidoral, you know, the tower. It's this guy's pretty. good. <laughs> this guy's <laughs> really good. My mom should be here. She'd be able to talk that stuff with you and much the, better than I. And the candy bacon and the, the and there was apple and berries in the tart. It was oh, warm and it was, yeah, she'd never had candy bacon before, so that it's, was. It's pretty good. Yeah. I enjoy it. It's very good. And the, the ice cream is amazing. Yes. It's the, that caramel, salted caramel is Oh, awesome. salted caramel. Caramel, yes. that's what it was. Yeah. Oh. Very, very good. So, go wrong. so, what's your favorite kind of food? Um, personally, I enjoy anything that I don't have to make. All right. So, like I have. Yeah, I know, <laughs> I know. So, I have this find. It's a little taco stand, uh, taco restaurant that's in Oceano. It's kind of the most authentic Mexican I've ever had. And I know you're a big um, carne. Uh, carnitas. Carnitas. Yes. Um, these guys sell 250 pounds of carnitas every weekend because they sell it by the pound. Oh, wow. So I want to take you there. If you'll go to dinner with me. I will go to dinner okay. with you. And then you can become the critic and we'll try some legume and some cabeza and some... some lengua. Lengua. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and we'll try some different Mexican things and see what you think about it. I'm excited. Let's All righty. So join us. Where next we take Chef Casey to Efren's Deli Shop in Oceano, California, and try some kind of authentic Mexican food that will hopefully please and delight him. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, Terry. Thanks, you. Casey. Oh. Thank you, Casey. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back with more Taste Buds. Hello, welcome to Taste Buds. So today we're taking Chef Casey Walker from the Sea Venture to one of my hidden finds. 
Efren's Deli Shop in Oceano, California. It's right next to the melodrama, across the street from a church, and the best Mexican food anywhere on the Central Coast. So we're going to go inside. We're going to eat with Casey. Casey's going to meet Efren, and we're going to see all their family secrets. So come on and join us. Hi, Efren. How are you? Good. What are you making for us today? Today, I'll be making you guys some enchiladas, ceviche tostadas, nice. shrimp cocktail, and some cabeza lingua tacos. What are you making there? Well, here on the daily, we make about 110 pounds of carnitas. Tell us about your famous salsa. This is our enchilada salsa. Oh, that's your enchilada salsa. Yeah, this is the over one we're doing. the other one is the salsa. The one we're making over there, that's our red salsa. Our red salsa tends to be Mexican spicy, not regular spicy. Nah. Yeah, yeah. Same thing with our mild. Our mild is also Mexican mild, not American mild. And this is her making the famous rice. Yeah, my mom's rice. So you have a takeout to go here, so you can come out and get your tacos to go, and then you have Correct. a really nice dining, a dining room area. inside. We're going to get started with the enchiladas first. All right. And at the same time, I'm going to throw on the tacos. And so the red sauce that's in the enchiladas, what's in that? It's, it's a family secret. It, it's a guajillo salsa. Uh, we put uh, oregano, vinegar, onion, salt, and the chile guajillo. Wow. And you can put any kind of meat you want any in there. Any choice of meat. I am crazy about your El Pastor meat. I don't think anybody does El Pastor as well as you do. How long have you been here in this location? We just celebrated our six-year anniversary October 13th of this and year. And now you've expanded to Santa Maria, too, and correct? Yes, and we opened one in Santa Maria on April 13th. I Very well. exciting. Oh Look at this, Casey. Ah, a feast for a chef. Wow. Casey, this is Efren. This is Casey. Right. Casey. And we got our drinks. Oh, and, right. and those are the... Micheladas. Oh, I was just saying I have never had one. It contains oh. tomato juice, cocktail broth that we use for our cocktails, uh, tajin, salsa, and that's about so it. So what kind of meat are we having in these? We're having uh, lengua, which is cow tongue, and cabeza, which is beef head. Okay, so what? those are the enchiladas? Okay, these are enchiladas, <laughs> red salsa. We don't do the green ones. Um, these are al pastor. We usually serve them with chicken or carne asada, but because Terry wanted al pastor, we did al pastor. They have the best al pastor here anywhere. This is the famous salsa, right? Yeah, this salsa here is uh, with chile yukon. It's uh, really, it's, it, sometimes it can be extremely spicy depending on like, how, you could say how mad my mom was that day. <laughs> but that's how it is, you know? I love that. All right, and here we have... We have our ceviche tostadas, served with uh, onion tomatoes, you know, our ceviche that's... Uh, Dined in the lime overnight. And then avocados, cilantro, tomatoes. All right, and this is what shrimp cocktail is supposed to look like. Unlike what you get in Vegas and all those other horrible places, this is real shrimp cocktail. All right, well, we'll chow down and then talk to you about it some more afterwards. Okay. Michelada. It's a Mexican hangover cure. It's a Mexican Bloody Mary, and it's amazing. It is amazing. I'm starting with the cabeza tacos. And, you're and I got with the, the lingua. Lingua. Give me some tongue. <laughs> mm. So good. With the lengua, with tongue, it's the most tender piece of meat in the body. Get out there, be brave, come try it, post it on Facebook that you did, and thank me. Don't be a bunch of weenies, because if I sat this down in front of you, you wouldn't know the difference from this from carnitas by the looks of it. it and the taste of it is superior to anything you'll try. All right, so we're going to decide which is our favorite out of all of this. So okay. pay attention. So right I now we're it. trying the enchiladas, which I've never tried here, but I watched them make them, and they were amazing. The crema is amazing. Yeah, the it crema is really so good. good. The tortilla is not overcooked. It's not falling apart. Yeah, it's not. The it's, meat. it's perfect. And then the, the spiciness is offset by the lettuce on the top and then the cheese. Oh, and this mm -hmm. is their killer salsa. You haven't tried that yet. I hear it's hot. Only if Mama's no, mad. No. Is she mad? <laughs> no. Can we ask her if she's mad? <laughs> she seems happy back there. <laughs> All right. I'll be brave. I'll try it. I love chili. Oh, and you'll like this. Oh, okay. You're the one that said that chili makes you smart. Because the food's so good, it catches your hair on fire. I'll come in and just order <clears throat> nine pastor tacos. Yeah, I think this dish went, to, went together very well. The, I, I want to come in and see when mom's mad because um, <laughs> it's not hot enough for me. So. But isn't the chilies is what God gives you, right? That's really good. That's awesome dish. All right, so now we're attacking a real seafood cocktail. All right. I real can, shrimp cocktail. Yeah, I consider this Mexican-style shrimp cocktail. So 
that I'm excited that I found one that's so pretty. With the cilantro and the big chunks of avocado. Oh my gosh, this is a meal mm. in itself. It is. And there's cucumbers in there too? You don't need to spend the money to get good food. I agree, yes. I agree. We'll be right back with more Taste Buds. Oh. All right. Okay. So, so the, the Ceviche was my very first sushi. <laughs> It but did. it's cooked. No, it's just cooked in lime juice. Right, but the chemical reaction cooks it, so yeah, it's Yeah, but safe. people who aren't foodies don't get that. So <laughs> right. explain how the lime cooks it. Oh, I'm not a chemist, but with you the... You play one on TV. <laughs> right. <laughs> I am playing one right now on TV. Just the chemical reaction from the, uh, the um, acid. Uh, you can make ceviche with, you know, lime juice, oranges any type of vinegar, so as long as there's a lot of acid in whatever you're putting it in, it will cook it. That is good. I like this one, very refreshing. Again, the fish is cooked nicely. Yeah, it is. During the summertime, there's nothing I'd rather have than a bowl of ceviche on a hot day. And a beer. And a beer. And a beer. Negro Modelo. <laughs> My beer of choice. If I have to drink beer, that's what I'm drinking. And the thing is, is that I can't eat, I can't drink wine with Mexican food. There's a few shiraz that I can do, but mostly it's got to be a beer. No, it has to be tequila. Ah, there yeah. you go. This, though, is my favorite thing I know, thing I'm in liking the whole this world. thing. <laughs> I think I'll be coming in on Sundays. I think Sundays. on Sundays. Yeah. <laughs> Here Chiloso. is Toloso. Toloso means that it's so hot that it overwhelms your senses. You can actually makes your nose run. Now, this isn't a bad thing. I judge the goodness of my Mexican food. It should make you do that because you've got things that are equalizing it out, but you should feel the fire that is the essence of Mexican food, in my humble opinion. It has to be spicy. So these are the carnitas. All right, so I'm excited about this one. I am huge on carnitas. So And um, rice and beans. You said you judge a restaurant by the rice and beans. Yes, the number one thing, rice and beans for mm. a Mexican restaurant. All right. Has a good flavor. So the beans are awesome. I can taste that there's some love put into them, as we would say. To make a good carnitas, you have to have the fat on it, otherwise it won't work out. It is good. It's really good. Enough salt. Um, you know, with carnitas, you have to salt it right. Too much salt ruins it. Not enough. It just doesn't work. And it has a nice caramelized outside that's key to making carnitas. And I like that they didn't hide the skin right exactly and that's yeah that's awesome. this is what it should look like i buy the carnitas on the weekends by the pound and then take it home and everybody is happy at my house because <clears throat> all i have to do is warm up some tortillas and slice up some stuff my biggest thing looking at all this food and what we've tried is it's not your typical mexican restaurant that almost every plate looks the same you right. can't oh what's that oh it looks exactly like this <laughs> every plate has a different presentation and it, it's amazing and i like that as a chef presentation's half of yeah. what we do so yeah. this gets my seal of approval all right the rice the beans the carnitas so this is the efron special it's got the steak like shrimp Diablo. So if Shrimp Diablo is done right, it'll melt your hair. I have a feeling this will do it. So All right, let's see if Keep this is spicy. Keep an eye on my hair. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God, it's so good. I'm melting my hair. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> see, for see? me, it's nice and sweet. It has a very sweet what? flavor to it. It is spicy, but just like the other salt. 30 seconds. Give it a All right. <laughs> I think we have some more red sauce here if you wanted to add some of that to it. Um. <laughs> okay. There you that, go. Yeah. See, that's perfect. <laughs> now we have the burn. <laughs> Half the jalapeno, shrimp. Oh, yeah. This gets hardcore. That's what I love about chefs, that they'll try anything and they experiment with new flavors. I like the steak. I do too. It seasoned nicely. I wonder what they seasoned it with. I don't know. Have to ask Chef, huh? We'll be right back with more Taste Buds. Thank you so much. That food was right. amazing. No I, problem. It was no awesome. Pleasure the to have you guys here. The presentation, it's, it, it made me excited. Oh, that's um, awesome. As a chef, presentation's half of my job. So the lengua tacos and the cabeza tacos, 
I thought they were amazing. Thank you again. I appreciate All your right, hospitality. Thanks for coming, Casey. Thank you. Thank, thank you for having so us. So good. But I'm a fan anyway. So. Yeah. <laughs> you, you had a lot of times. me at, yeah. at the first taco. <laughs> the first taco. <laughs> yep. I was a convert. <laughs> You know, the cool thing about Efren's is you can bring your whole family. I bring a family of five or six, and we get out of here really cheap, and everybody's happy and full. When new people come to town and they ask me where the best Mexican food is, this is where I bring them. And it, I am tasking each of you, I am daring each of you, I am forcing each of you to come here and try this. Um, and then I want you to go on the Facebook page and tell us what you think. Try one of these... <laughs> any of these dishes they were amazing um that you can't go wrong here so you agree chef i definitely agree i'm glad i got to meet efren um and uh, i give it a thumbs up thank you for joining us that was delicious please make sure you complete the social media challenge and give me your feedback join us next time and see where my palate will lead you and remember eat well and live well this is my sea otter purse, and I was walking down the street, and someone's like, are those sea beavers? Is that a sea beaver purse? <laughs> and I'm like, uh, yes, they are. <laughs>